Greetings all and welcome back to the channel. Thank you for choosing to watch this video. Today we're going to take a look at whether or not it's a good idea to install Crossmix OS on your Trimio iSmart Pro. For those of you that don't know Crossmix, it is basically an operating system that is built on top of the stock firmware of the Smart Pro that offers additional features. But before we get to that, please note that the information in this video is based off of extensive research and analysis of various sources, including video reviews and user experiences. My aim is to give you a concise overview that is jam-packed with facts from multiple different viewpoints. I genuinely believe you can still find a lot of value from the information here. So if you do, please remember to like and subscribe and share as this truly helps the channel out. With that said, let's dive right into some of the benefits of installing the operating system on your unit. For this section, I'm only going to mention what I consider to be the main new features for this OS, just so the video doesn't drag out too long. I will, however, leave links to my source material in the description if you want more detail. First up, Crossmix comes with some apps pre-installed that is not immediately available on the stock OS. A good example is the Screen Scraper app that allows you to download the info and box art for your games directly on the device. Another app that is quite useful is Portmaster, which allows you to play ports of compatible PC games directly on your device. Secondly, Crossmix OS also has optimized emulator configurations, providing arguably better performance and compatibility for many game systems straight from installation. It's not perfect though, and some reviewers have noted that tweaks may be required to get some N64 games to run correctly. And unfortunately, I heard more than one reviewer say that there were some Portmaster games that did not run right off the bat. But in general, the pick up and play experience is enhanced as far as I can see. Along with the above, another main feature that should enhance your experience quite a bit is the advanced networking options. With these, you can take advantage of features like SyncThing for cloud safe syncing and SSH for easy file transfers. Cloud saves basically allow you to save and continue your game on a different device that also has this functionality. So if you're a collector with multiple retro devices, this would be a big plus for you. Other noteworthy features are custom aesthetics that let you enjoy new overlays, icons, backgrounds and boot logos that give your Smart Pro a fresh look. You also have the option to customize the look of the RGB lighting around the analog sticks as well as changing what the function switch does. In addition, the System Tools app gives you options for convenient file management and lastly you have over the air update functionality via the pre-installed OTA app. So now that you have an idea of what the benefits of Crossmix is, Let's quickly go over how to install it on your Trimio iSmart Pro to give those of you that want to do this a basic guide. The first thing you'll have to do is download the latest Crossmix OS release from the official GitHub repository. I'll leave links in the description below. You then need to format a new SD card, preferably 128 gig or larger, to FAT32 using a tool like Rufus or Belena Etcher. You can then extract or unzip the Crossmix OS files directly to the root of your SD card which basically means that you need to select your SD card from the side menu in Windows when running the extraction, so all the Crossmix system folders display separately directly on the card. Once this is done, you can copy your ROMs and BIOS files to their respective folders on the SD card. Insert the SD card into your Trimui Smart Pro and power on the device. It can take quite a bit of time for Crossmix OS to configure the installation, so don't be too concerned, just let it do its thing. For a more detailed overview, check the links in the description below for a guide done by Joey over at Joey's Retro Handouts. If however you're not one for tinkering and you prefer a pre-configured solution, some retailers offer the Trimui Smart Pro with Crossmix OS pre-installed on an SD card, saving you the setup time and effort. I will leave a link to such a unit and SD card from LitNXT below, but just note it is quite a bit more expensive, at roughly double the price of the unit on AliExpress. I would however say that I think it would still be worth it for someone who is not technically inclined, as the card will also come with quite a few games on that have been curated and organized quite nicely. I will also have links to the unit on AliExpress, where it is much less, for those of you that prefer setting this up yourselves. The question then remains, is Crossmix OS right for your Trimui Smart Pro? Crossmix OS offers a compelling package of features performance improvements, and customization options that significantly enhance the Trimui iSmart Pro experience. For users who enjoy tinkering with their devices and want to squeeze every ounce of performance out of their handheld, Crossmix OS is an excellent choice, as it will allow you to do just that. However, if you're content with the stock firmware's simplicity, or prefer the likes of Nuli's awesome looks, Crossmix may not be necessary for your needs. It's also worth considering that while Crossmix OS improves stability slightly, 
it can't overcome the hardware limitations of the Trimui Smart Pro. More demanding games will still struggle on the likes of Sega Saturn, Dreamcast, N64 and PSP emulators, so keep that in mind. If you want to have a look at a more detailed overview of the latest stock for me, or whether or not the likes of Nuli would benefit you, you can click on the links on screen now for my videos on those. That's it for this one though, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll catch you in the next tech update.